Joe Tilly here at the Vedante Golf Course in beautiful Nuevo Valle, Mexico, site of the Mexican Open PGA Tour event. Today, we look at the second part of our series on golfers and athletes of all types and abilities, of course, how to handle the wear and tear on their body and how to stay at the top of their game. Today, we sat down with Steve Anderson, founder of Renew Medical Center, right here in Mexico, where they're helping people to experience miraculous recoveries. Our guest today hails from Kansas City, a seasoned private equity executive, MHC Capital Partner, and board member of public and private companies, recognized thought leader and frequent speaker of industry conferences, a proven track record in helping companies maximize growth, co-founder of Renew, a private clinic specializing in stem cell therapy and exosome treatments. He has helped several athletes extend and enhance their careers, and he's helping to elevate your quality of life. So how did you get your start in business? Oh, well, it's, uh, I tell people I never really had a real job. You know, from the beginning, I've been very entrepreneurial in terms of my thought about the world and really started in the money business. Was involved in the investment management business for, my gosh, almost my whole career. Ended up running a public company in, in uh, the U.S. and then uh, transitioned to private equity when I retired from the public company. And then how did you transition into the medical side? In healthcare, yeah. Well, about 12 years ago, I got diagnosed with a really awful degenerative disease that kind of found its way to the, the lumbar area of my back. And all the experts in the U.S. thought that it was inevitable that I would be confined to a wheelchair for the rest of my existence. So, of course, that wasn't a, a palatable option for me. And so I kind of went on a little bit of a journey trying to identify someone who could help me to, to try to combat this awful degenerative disease. And I found a physician in Beverly Hills, California, that was in a uh, FDA approved stem cell trial. And so through my concierge physician in Phoenix, I got, I got into the trial and it changed everything for me. And it was really inferior technology to what we do today, dramatically inferior technology. And I was in the recovery room and uh, Dr. Regan came in and, and uh, we were having a discussion and he just kind of an offhanded remark said, hey, I wish we would have done this in my office in Dubai. And I said, well, besides the shopping and the beach, why Dubai? What are we talking about? And he said, well, we could have used allogenic cells. And I said, allogenic, what do you mean? He said, we could have used donor cells because your cells are your age. And even though I got a fabulous outcome, that was almost 10 years ago. I'm 57 now, so I was 47. I got a really good outcome from my own. And I haven't had a treatment since, by the way. And obviously, I'm not confined to a wheelchair, and I run and play football and work out and do all that sort of thing, play golf. And, and so that really got me started on this kind of thought around, because back then, remember, that I thought that healthcare kind of, the sun rose, was high in the sky in the U.S. and Canada, and set, and there was nobody else outside the U.S. and Canada knew anything about healthcare. And that's just turned out to be just patently false. Um, and so it led me on a journey to try to understand why <clears throat> some of these technologies weren't available in the U.S. and Canada. And, and that, that's kind of how I got here is that um, I started to talk to some of the, you know, the, luckily, based on my career, I was able to have contacts with lots of people. And I was able to get in front of some of the, you know, top 10 or so people in the world around regenerative medicine and 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 more, more aptly around the idea of longevity. And that's how it all started. And then I woke up in the middle of the night and said, Hey, my, you know, some of my peers and some of the people I do business with have unlimited resources and are not living their best lives. And so how do I change that? And so one night, seven years ago in the middle of the night, I decided to build a world-class facility somewhere outside the U S and Canada where we could avail ourselves of all the great technology that was available and not be you know, confined by this kind of draconian and political regulatory environment. Now, what is it about this technology that they're not willing to accept in Canada and the U.S.? Yeah, it's really, it's really confusing when you understand their position, which generally the regulatory bodies in the U.S. and Canada's position surrounds this idea that 
it's uh, you know counterproductive to society that we have they they think we have these baby farms where we're you know aborting children and taking their and, and that's just not not true at all. We do use what are called allogenic cells or donor cells, and they come from a successful birth, meaning that mama and baby have to be okay. And then the mother donates the cord and placenta to us, which we then test extensively, send it out to a third party to test. And once we agree that the material is good, then it comes in and into and our lab and then it's grown into an army to be, you know, injected into folks and to help them to try to recover from whatever. But to an- sorry, to answer your question directly, uh, you know, when you look, all you have to do is look at the board of the FDA, right? They're all big farm executives. That's, you know, big pharma controls you know, the medical narrative in the U.S. <clears throat> I caught your interview with Todd Herman, and you went into detail on how Big Pharma is running the show, but you're in your own little bubble here, treating patients differently, and your clients include a lot of athletes, specifically a number of golfers, including current members of the Champions Tour. Last year, you had Gary Hallberg and Esteban Toledo on hand for a clinic. Esteban was great. What a character. Let's watch some of that. The, the, the finish is the one, it's very, very important. Look if oh. he's right. No. Wait a minute. I'm thinking about my right Gary foot. Gary was right. <laughs> <laughs> Esteban having a great run on the Champions Tour. I see his bag is beside you. He's also a client. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we now have 17 Champions Tour players that represent us on tour in one way or another. Uh, many of them, almost all of them, have been treated here at the facility. And we treat a lot of professional athletes, but we also treat a lot of weekend warriors and, you know, and, and athletes. Pickleball might single-handedly uh, revolutionize our business, but it's great, right? You have a lot of people playing it. It's a fun game. Um, it's done wonders for weight loss and, and uh, you know, cardiovascular exercise for people, which is exciting. But they're very competitive and they, they tend to find themselves in very precarious situations that they wouldn't probably normally at that age find themselves in. So we have a lot of musculoskeletal calls from people that are involved in that behavior. This year, the clinic was put on by Fred Funk and Peter Costas. Costas, the longtime CBS analyst, has developed some interesting training methods. What happens to my feet and my knees... And I can feel this going right up behind my head. I'm staying centered. I'm rotating, drop and rotate, swing and rotate, drop and rotate. And you learn to get a full golf swing from your feet all the way up to your hands. What kind of treatment did Peter have and how successful was it? Yeah, so uh, Peter obviously has has been one of the preeminent uh, announcers in golf for forever. But what a lot of people don't know about Peter is he might be, he's probably in the top 10 all-time great teachers in golf as well. And so he's been around the golf business his whole life and just a lot of wear and tear, you know, the the human superstructure. Remember, we were really only supposed to live into our kind of late 40s and, and then, you know, kind of expire, if you will. But technology has kept us going now for many people into their 80s and 90s and even, in, you know, into the hundreds. And so... The human superstructure wasn't meant for that kind of repetitive motion like golf, right? That torquing and competitive motion. And so in Peter's case, it was both of his knees were just, had become just intolerable for him in terms of his ability to to, uh, hit full golf shots. So he came down, we treated both his knees. Um, He's doing incredibly well. He's back to hitting full golf shots. He he says uh, it's a miracle. You know that, it, but it's something that we kind of see every day, right? The, those those cells that we use, those they're called Wharton's jelly derived day zero mesenchymal stem cells, which is a lot to say, but that's what they are, and they're unassigned cells, right? So they're not yet a, a they're not a brain cell, they're not a liver cell, they're not a cardiac cell, they're unassigned, and so when we inject those in, intraarticularly or right in the joint to where the the degeneration has happened. They have two really incredible properties. One is that they, they're anti-inflammatory in nature, so they take the inflammation down. So most people notice that the pain goes starts to go away almost immediately. And then they're like, wow, this is incredible. And then it takes about three to six months before you really start to see the regenerative nature of them, where we have bookend MRIs where there's more cartilage 
um, in, you know, more cushion, if you will, in the knees or in the knees when there were before. And that in Peter's case, that's true as well. Wow. That, that really is a miracle, isn't it? It is. It is. A lot of people don't talk about it. John Houston's a good example of that, right? John was a champions tour player, great player on the PGA tour and a great player on the champions tour came to us. Um, we did his, uh, L4, L5 lower lumbar area for golfers. It's generally the lumbar from the torque or it's that front hand and wrist hitting the ground first. <clears throat> and, uh, actually, uh, golf digest, uh, did a story about this, um, that he, uh, after his treatment with us, he went off on the champions tour and ran off five straight top 10 finishes where he was, you know, John was always really long uh, on the, he was what they would call sneaky long because in stature, you know, he's not very tall. Um, but he's just, he generates a tremendous amount of club head speed and, uh, he's now kind of regained a lot of that length. And of course, Fred, like John Houston had a lot of success later in his career. We asked him why. It was a, belief in myself more than anything else and a comfort comfort level that I got to where I expected to play well I had a game that I could play well with and and I learned that my method was good enough to to post really good scores and compete out there yep different athletes tend to peak at different stages of their career don't they it might all come together later yeah it's amazing you know you take a player like Brant Job, right so Brant Job wins a few times on the PJ tour, gets on the champions tour and really does well. Right. So I think it all just depends. Alex Chaka is another great example of that, you know, last year's, uh, you know, senior British open champion, you know, has had a really great career on the champions tour. Here's what Fred had to say after his treatment here at Renew Medical Center. It's just a comfortable place to come to better your well-being. And I experienced that actually when I look back at what I did the first time down because I've had major back issues and I was coming down here for stem cells and overall infusion for my whole body and then a, a direct shot where they actually knocked me out, put me out and injected my back with stem cells right in the bottom three levels that are really messed up, to say the least. And they said you might st or you should start feeling better in about three months. And I think I had it done last March. And I remember it was one of those days I was playing. I was one of those weeks, you know, I always wake up and I'm really sore. And I, a couple of days went by and I just kind of realized, hey, I'm not quite as sore as I was before. And I felt freer and my golf swing started feeling better. And I was able to hit more balls and I wasn't achy and sore like I was before. Okay, so tell us about Fred's procedure. What were the keys? Yeah, Fred is a really wonderful guy. He's uh, ha had a great career on the PJ Tour as well as on the Champions Tour. You know, he won the, the uh, Players' Championship, the fifth major, if you will. So, again, another guy who kind of peaked a little bit later in his career, then won three majors on the, on the Champions Tour. So, with Fred, uh, we started off, again, L4-5, S1, uh, lumbar, obviously had a lot of pain in his lower lumbar. And then uh, uh, wrists and hands are really kind of Fred's uh, nemesis, if you will. So we've treated all of it. And I think if, he, if he was here today, he'd tell you that he's still playing because we were able to, you know, help him, you know, work through these myriad of issues as you get, you know, those guys think, think about it. They're hitting two, 300 balls a day, day in and day out. And Fred is one of those guys. that's a grinder. You got to give it up for him. It's, it's harder for me to keep Fred off the golf course and out of the range, just so he has enough time to convalesce and really, you know, come back to to uh, his his peak performance. But we're really excited about Fred this year. We think he's going to do some great things. We're his title sponsor for 2024, so he'll carry the Renew bag along with Folds of Honor. Will be his other sponsor. Um, but we're excited about Fred this year. We think he's going to do great things. Yeah, nobody's got anything bad to say about Fred. No, <laughs> he's a wonderful person. What other sports-related work has Renew done? Are there other athletes? We do. We do a lot of NFL work. Um, you know, uh, unfortunately, via their contracts, we're not able to use their images or to disclose the work that we do with them. But lots of, you know, kind of inflammation-related things. We do a lot of work around this idea of when people tear their rot rotator cuff and it's it's too far gone for us to to with stem cells to correct it, it has to be manually corrected. Then we bring them down about somewhere between eight and 14 days after the surgery and we'll inject stem cells at the, at the site of the repair 
in an effort to take down the inflammation and to help that repair uh, be stronger and be more solid fix. We do a lot of that work with athletes, especially when they're kind of on IR and they're maybe baseball, uh, major league baseball players, NBA players. We, we've you know we've seen them all. And in addition to that, we do a lot of work with uh, in the ice skating world as well, which is interesting. That's a that nice. that coming down on those knees is a over a very long period of time is a, is a very difficult proposition. Yeah, you start when you're 10 years old and keep jumping well into your 30s. I can see that creating some problems. Uh, so it just really depends on the situation, right? Everybody's just a little bit differently. Here's what we have found. though: We found that people have traded their health for wealth their whole lifetime. And then what we find is that when people uh, start to gather resources, they go the other way as fast as they can by investing in their health. And I think that's one of the things that we really do well is this is really what healthcare was supposed to look like, right? So it's not a situation where you come here and you sit in the lobby for 30 minutes and nobody talks to you past your appointment time. And then they all of a sudden come and get you and they take you into a room and you sit by yourself for 15 minutes. And then the physician comes in and maybe spends three or four minutes and then moves on to the next patient because their economic proposition is more patients, more money for them. That's not what it's like here at all. You know, this is very uh, organized. It's a kind of a VIP experience and people come and, and uh, they get treated and, and yeah. So let's give you kind of some ideas around what things cost. So if we're talking about a knee or a hip or a shoulder, um, our average patient is with us five days. So they're not here and checked into the hospital, right? They're on a, in a beach hotel, you know, beautiful location, having a wellcation, as we call it. Uh, and so if we shot somebody's knee or hip or shoulder, probably by the time you add up all the costs of everything, you're talking about roughly 5,000 US dollars to do that. Um, and of course, it staves off that opportunity to have to go have surgery and that sort of thing, and which is really a dicey proposition these days. Yeah, because more intrusive surgery has been the way for years. Yeah, no, and I, I think it's positive, right? We really work hard to position the body to heal itself. And the body has incredible healing capability. It just has to be positioned properly to do that. And that's really what it takes the whole week for us is that we, we do a lot of complementary treatments along the way. A lot of hyperbaric oxygen treatments are really important to us. We do a lot of... of uh, IV infusions with NAD plus and some uh, vitamin infusions as well, trying to kind of prepare the body to, to do the stem cell graft as it comes in. And so that takes us about, about five or six days to make that happen. And, you know, people are here, call it 90 minutes to two hours a day. And then the rest of the time they're out on the beach or in the pool or on a fishing boat or playing golf or doing whatever they're, you know, whatever they wanted to do for vacation. I guess the other option in Canada is to wait six, eight, 10 months and to wait another 10 months to a year for surgery, that's a long wait for somebody in pain. Yeah, that's the thing that's most amazing with our Canadian, because we do a lot of work with Canadians, and it's just, they're just shocked and amazed that they come on the, the day that they get here. That afternoon, they're laying in an MRI machine, getting an, an MRI, and the day after that, the orthopedic surgeon is is there with them doing the intraarticular injection in their knee, and the day after that, they're with you know, an endocrinologist to talk about their hormones to make sure that they're optimized. They're just kind of, they're just kind of shocked and surprised that those resources are available at the speed under which they're available. And that's just part of what we do. So people are coming here, they're getting stronger, feeling better, looking better, and they get a nice wellcation. I don't see the downside. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's great. And we love our patients. They're like family. We, we treat some very serious situations um, we treat a lot of traumatic brain injury, a lot of stroke recovery. We treat some really, really serious situations, but we do a lot of musculoskeletal work and we also do a lot of, um, aesthetic work. You know, aesthetics is one place where stem cells is really advanced dramatically, you know, and, and you know, that kind of face and decolletage, uh, area for ladies is, has, has been a real boon for, for their looks and the way that they feel about themselves. So we do some really fun stuff. And then we do some really serious work as well. So, Okay. So the question I ask all my guests, what's the best advice you've ever received? Oh my gosh. Um, I would say um, from my mother. 
Yeah. And she always said to me, tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life. And I think what she meant by that was, no matter how bad it is, or no, no matter how upset you are or how disappointed you are, you know, when you wake up the next day, it's an opportunity to, to uh, take the world by storm. So. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. That's right. That's right. That's great. Steve, thanks for doing this. Congratulations and continued success. Discover the secret to timeless vitality at Renew Medical Center in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Our specialists unravel the signs of aging, tailoring plans to defy its effects. Experience cutting-edge regenerative therapies such as stem cells and exosomes, addressing aging at its core. It's a wonderful spot, and uh, I highly recommend it for whatever you may need, whether you just want to feel better, you want to look better, uh, have a basically a quality of life uh, just to ramp it up a little bit as you as we age liberate yourself from aging related concerns where accountability technology and passion for regenerative medicine converge begin your path to peak health and wellness with us schedule your appointment today at renewpv.com and elevate your quality of life Rely on Walton Restoration's 40-plus years of excellence in residential and commercial restoration. Their strong reputation is built on workmanship, professionalism, and outstanding customer service. Trust Walton as your dependable partner in emergencies, serving Durham, Kawartha, and Northumberland regions. Call 905-725-5666 or visit waltonrestoration.com. Experience top-tier workmanship and service. Walton Restoration, the trusted name in property restoration. Join satisfied customers like me. Addiction Rehab Toronto, Toronto's number one alcohol and drug treatment center, saving lives, reuniting families. The only treatment center in the province to offer medical detox, treatment, sober living, and lifetime aftercare all in one place. Our unique and specialized programs are designed to equip our clients with the tools to successfully lead a life of dignity, respect, and purpose. Let us help save your life or your loved one's life. Call today for more information or to facilitate an intervention. 1-855-787-2424 or visit addictionrehabtoronto.ca. When you're injured in an accident, you may be entitled to multiple benefits. Entitlement to these benefits are based on your insurance policy. On a basic policy, you will have eligibility for income replacement benefit, non-earner benefit, attendant care, and medical rehabilitation benefits. It is very important to have a detailed discussion with your insurance broker or agent when obtaining a new policy or renewing your existing policy. Call us now for a comprehensive review of your claim and your policy limits. You do not pay us until we settle your case. Call Nathan today at 416-289-1236 or visit alliedlegal.ca. And we want to thank all the folks who make this show possible. These are friends, trusted business associates, and all-around great people. We highly recommend them all. Thank you for your support of Canadian and local sports. A reminder that the show is available on iTunes, Spotify, Breaker, Radio Public, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, as well as the Spanglish Network, Buzz TV Live, and Zingo TV. Also, check out the show on YouTube. All of our past great shows and clips are on there. Like and subscribe. It's absolutely free. Thanks once again to Steve Anderson for being in the program. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Brian Gribben Insurance Planning, helping you solidify your financial future. At BGIP, what we do that's unique in the marketplace is we show people how to spend and enjoy their money in their early years of retirement without the fear of running out. Also, we're able to do this without you having to change financial advisors. Please look us up at bgip.ca today. Let's book a 30-minute phone call to see how we can bring value to you and your family in your planning. Call Brian today for all your retirement needs. We did. 905 686 Five six seven eight MNP, a leading Canadian national accounting, tax, and business accounting firm. MNP proudly serves and responds to the need of their clients in the private, public, and nonprofit sectors. Through partner led engagements, MNP provides a collaborative, cost effective approach to do business and personal strategies to help people and organizations to succeed across the country and around the world. With local offices in Oshawa, Mississauga, Burlington, and more, 
Their team is here to support you. Visit mnp.ca today to learn more. Rooted in 60 years of tradition, Sleepy Hollow is a private golf club with a friendly community of members just minutes from Toronto. With mature trees and rolling fairways, Sleepy Hollow provides a challenging and enjoyable experience for passionate golfers. Enjoy great golf, amazing dining, and a picturesque patio second to none. Visit SleepyHollowCountryClub.com. Joe Tilly here. My wife, Penny Claire, and I recently took an amazing trip to Egypt and Jordan with Trip Up Oak. And here are our top 10 must-dos. Number one on our list is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Standing before the massive structure, I couldn't help but imagine what life was like for the ancient Egyptians who built it and how they managed to construct such a remarkable feat without modern technology. We rode a camel and it felt like we were transported back into time to ancient Egypt. And of course, we snapped some photos with the Sphinx as well. I would highly recommend that you book your next trip through Tripopo. Call them today. Guests on Joe Tilly Sports receive a gift certificate from Classica Imports. Top of the line, imported men's clothing. Check out the Classica Essential Collection now. Go to shopclassica.com.